Here we're going to tie a fly called the Partridge and Orange Soft Hackle Fly. It's been around for many, many years. Still works to this day. First thing you're going to do is you're just going to start some orange thread at the front of the hook. Then we're going to take it back. You can see how I have half unwound my thread to make it nice and flat. Did that for a reason. We're going to build a little bit of a taper on this body. Tapering the body forward. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to make it too thick. There we go. Once I get towards the thorax region of this fly, I'm going to stop winding my thread. I'm going to prepare a partridge feather by stripping off the fluffy feathers at the base. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip in my hackle pliers to the very tip of this feather. Then I'm going to wet my fingers and stroke all those fibers backwards. What this is going to do is it's going to allow me to tie in by that tip. So I just simply tie the tip of the partridge feather in. Trim off the very tip of it. Take my thread right to the eye. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers and clip them into the base of this feather. I'm going to wrap this partridge feather forward very delicately. With every wrap I just gently stroke those fibers backwards that way those fibers lay back nice and nice and clean. Now once I get to the bare portion of the stem I'm just going to capture it with my thread gently stroke these fibers backwards. I'm going to build up a very small head on this fly. Use my thread torque to wrap back ever so slightly. There we go. Then you can whip finish finish the fly. Trim out your thread. This is a great little soft tackle fly for the beginner to start tying soft tackles with. As you can see, very simple. Just a couple materials. Good fly to practice your soft tackle and partridge technique on. This fly can be traditionally swung in the current. It can also be tied onto a nymph rig and nymph, just like a normal nymph, as like an emerger. And that's all there is to the partridge and orange.